really have high aspirations for the type of medical care we want to give our patients. And really with the leadership of our CEO, Jim Dixon, and with a grant from United Healthcare five years ago, we began to bring in um, telemedicine programs into Bisbee. Um, and the, uh, the idea is that we believe one of the primary limitations on the quality of healthcare delivery in rural hospitals is the lack of availability of specialists. Among the, the many things that you're proud of here at Copper Queen Community Hospital, what are the top two or three things that you'd like to convey to the general public about Copper Queen? Uh, one thing is that we, uh, the, the physician, the quality of physicians that you're going to see at this hospital is really surprisingly high. Um, in the emergency department, for example, we have board certified emergency physicians from Portland, Oregon. We have a gentleman, John Bennett, from Seattle. We have physicians from Phoenix and Tucson. Um, so um, there really is a broad uh, experience level uh, of mature physicians that are practicing in the emergency department. Also uh, in our clinic system here, physicians like Dr. Avina, Dr. Romo, Heidi Lodge, Kathy Jones, uh, Dr. Coglin, Dr. Polanco, Dr. McEntee, uh, I think the level of physician care is very good. Other things I'd be proud of are in general, the, the, the level of nursing care, um, our, um, our ability to bring specialists in through telemedicine. Um, so I think there's a lot of good things in a small package here. Absolutely. You mentioned uh, the nursing staff. I've had occasion to meet some of the staff and, and obviously they're some of the most important people in the hospital next to the surgeons and physicians. Mm -hmm. And what, what do you think of your nursing staff? Uh, I just think, think they're excellent. And, it, separate from being very well trained and proficient, they're, they're long standing members of the community here. Um, we have very little turnover um, in the department. So, they're, they're, we have the average, when you come in, the nurse that's taking care of you has been here for seven, eight, nine, ten years. And it just makes a big difference when they're really committed to the department. So, tell me, Doctor, how about this new uh, press release about the burn center? Similar to tell a stroke, you know, similar to stroke management in general, which requires very specific uh, specialists and a very specific way of treatment, uh, we feel the same way about burn. The number of burn centers has shrunken. There's really two burn centers in the, the whole state of Arizona, and both of them are in Phoenix. On that note, we've partnered with the Grossman Burn Center, which runs out of St. Luke's Hospital in Phoenix, to have a teleburn program that's up and running now. And so, for our patients that suffer a serious burn um, in a similar manner to Telestroke, we're able to do a video conference with the uh, burn specialist at the Grossman Burn Center. They speak with the patient, do a physical. We have very uh, high definition fiber optic cameras where they can closely inspect the patient's burns and the severity of the burns. And based on that, they recommend um, either a transfer uh, up to the Grossman Burn Center, which we would provide by helicopter, um, or treatment here at the Copper Queen uh, Community Hospital. What other telemedicine offerings does Copper Queen have? In addition to Telestroke, we also have a program called Teleneurology, so we're able to, to uh, have consults on difficult cases of seizures or Parkinson's disease mm -hmm. or multiple sclerosis. We have Telecardiology, which is a very uh, helpful program um, if you come into our emergency department with a heart attack or uh, a heart rhythm problem, we're able to have an immediate consult. We also do consults um, on if you're admitted as an inpatient um, and we do have that program in the clinic so you can be seen by uh, your cardiologist um, in our clinic system here in Bisbee um, without having to go to Tucson. We have a program for telepulmonology, um, so to treat emphysema, asthma, uh, pneumonia. Um, all of these programs are based on very prominent groups. Uh, Telestroke, as you know, is at the Mayo Clinic uh, in Scottsdale. Telecardiology works with a very good group of cardiologists called Southwest Heart um, in Tucson. Telepulmonology works with a group called PASA. Uh, pulmonary Associates of Southern Arizona. We have teledermatology, 
Um, we have, uh, we're just starting a telepediatrics program. Most of these programs are, are operate in Bisbee at the moment, and then we're in the process of moving them to Douglas and Palominas. Um, Douglas should be pretty straightforward, and we're very interested in providing those programs in Douglas. In Palominas, interestingly, we, we tried to start the programs there, and we're limited by the amount of bandwidth that's actually traveling in the fiber optic network in Palominas. And so we um, um, are in the process of, or the county is in the process of improving the bandwidth in that area, and that's going to allow us to practice in Palominas also.